Hello wild voices in the city. How Indian ringneck parakeets invent a dialect. The urban symphony. Every city has a symphony. A constant, chaotic mix of sounds. But in this corner of Regent's Park, the symphony has a very strange new conductor. From my hide, disguised as a simple park bench, I've been studying a flock of Indian ringneck parakeets with a unique dialect. This male, the most innovative of them all, doesn't just screech. He speaks London. His language is a bizarre tapestry woven from the sounds of his adopted home. The rumble of the underground, the chime of an ice cream van, and most strangely of all, the roar of the lions from the zoo next door. A suitor's serenade. Spring is in the air, and his strange symphony now has a purpose. To attract a mate, he has his eye on a particular female. His courtship display is unlike any I've ever seen. He puffs his chest, bows his head, and offers her a bizarre serenade of city sounds. But this new language is an evolutionary experiment is a perfect imitation of an ice cream van's jingle, truly attractive to a female parakeet. I watch her reaction, and it's clear she is both intrigued and utterly confused. Just as he seems to be making progress, a new variable arrives, a stranger. A new male, squeak, squeak. driven from another park, has entered their territory. He is a traditionalist. He doesn't speak London. His calls are the pure, piercing screeches of his wild ancestors. Now, does she choose the familiar, innovative local with his strange and wonderful vocabulary? Screech. Or does she choose the powerful, traditional song of this newcomer? It has become a battle of culture, a competition between the old world and the new. The sound of a city, the female's choice is a fascinating one. She chooses the innovator. And I think I understand why. His strange language is not just a gimmick. It is a sign of intelligence, of adaptability. These sounds are now a functional part of their lives here. It's here. The siren imitation has become a surprisingly effective alarm call that cuts through the city's noise. The lion's roar is a powerful tool for intimidating rival birds at the feeders. She didn't choose the stranger's song. She chose the language of her home. a new dialect. Their bond, forged in a symphony of city sounds, is now solidified. They have claimed a nesting cavity in an old plane tree, a safe haven from the noise below. As their chicks hatch, a new question arises. What language will they speak? Will they revert to the ancient calls of their species? Or will they learn the strange, cobbled together dialect of their parents? The answer is a beautiful, noisy, and undeniable confirmation. That culture in this flock is not just human. It is a living, evolving thing. <laughs>